I'm Phil Macris from Sydney Olympic and you're watching Football New South Wales TV. <laughs> It was an unhappy weekend for the goalkeepers with players turning on an absolute goal fest in round 8 of the competition. The Bonnerig White Eagles look to continue their unbeaten run with a trip down south to take on the Wolves. The Blacktown Spartans look to make it 3 on the trot against the Central Coast Mariners Academy at home. Marconi were at home against a tough Sutherland Sharks outfit and in our match of the round, Sydney Olympic took on the Rockdale City Suns. That's all exclusive to Football New South Wales TV. This is the IGA National Premier League, New South Wales Men's 1. The top of the table, Bonnery White Eagles travelled down the highway to meet the South Coast Wolves at John Cream Park. And they got off to the perfect start inside 10 minutes. And Robbie Eunice opened the scoring after a neat cross from Alex Chanak. It was 2-0 a short time later when Mitchell Long showed off some individual brilliance to increase the lead. Bonnerig wasted little time trying to add to their lead in the second half, with Mitchell Long having multiple opportunities to find the target, only for some desperate Wolves defence to deny him. But Bonnerig wouldn't be denied for long, with Alex Chanak making it 3-0 in the 58th minute, firing home from a tight angle. It was 4-0 soon after with Robbie Yunus firing in his second goal as Bonnery continued their rampant goal scoring. The South Coast Wolves did receive some consolation with Chris Nathaniel scoring late on after some great lead up work by Michael Robinson. So 4-1 it ended and Bonnery continued their unbeaten run which now stretches to 8 games. The Blacktown Spartans were at home looking to continue their recent form whilst the Central Coast Mariners Academy was still searching for their first win in the competition. Any hope of getting their first win got harder for the Mariners, when Brady Smith was sent off for his second yellow in first half stoppage time, after only picking up his first booking three minutes prior. His rash challenge in the box not only led to his dismissal, but also gave away a penalty, which Luke Austin promptly dispatched for a 1-0 lead. The Spartans made the most of the one-man advantage straight after half time, when Andre Carl made it 2-0 after a great ball from Greg Kondek. Jordan Nikoloski did a great job keeping his side in the game in the 59th minute after forcing a Nathan Milgate effort over the bar. But from the ensuing corner it was 3-0 when Greg Kondek headed home. The Spartans put the icing on the cake in the 79th minute and Brian soon made it 4-0, giving the Spartans a club record three wins in a row. Blacktown City FC hoped to end the winning run of City United 58 and they were on their way in the second minute when Sean Rooney found Harris Gaitatsis who fired past Liam Reddy in goal. Travis Major went close to adding a second in the ninth minute when his 30 yard strike went just wide. Blacktown City FC did manage a second goal in the 24th minute and Miyazawa's slide found the net after a cross from Matthew Mayora. Sydney United 58 hit back though 10 minutes later when Chris Trianta squared the ball for Robbie Molesky to score. Triantis was involved again just minutes later, dribbling through the Blackdown defence before sending his shot over the bar. Triantis eventually did find the net in the 73rd minute, only for his goal to be disallowed due to the assistant flagging for an earlier handball. Blacktown sealed the three points in the 76th minute when Miyazawa broke down the left flank. He found Mayora whose shot was well saved by Reddy, only for Miyazawa to fire in the rebound. So Sydney United 58's unbeaten run ends with a shock 3-1 win. Blackdown City FC. The Sutherland Sharks travelled to Marconi Stadium looking to keep the pressure on the front runners. And the Sharks made a great start with Brad Boardman opening the scoring in the ninth minute. 
following Ali Haydar's error. It could have been 2-0 in the 19th minute after James Chronopoulos gave away a penalty for a foul on Brad Boardman. But Chronopoulos repaid his teammates, saving Panny Nikas' attempt on the spot. Three minutes later, and Nikas had a chance to make amends with the Sharks winning another penalty after Damien Travis brought down Boardman again. Nikas didn't waste the opportunity this time, 2-0 Sutherland. It was almost 3-0 in the 37th minute when Boardman hit the post with a header from a Nikas cross. Milorad Simonovic pulled a goal back with a calm finish in the 53rd minute. But the Sharks held on to take the well deserved three points with a 2 1 win. Apia Leichhardt looked to kickstart their march up the table with a win over Manly. Manly were beaten convincingly last round against Sydney Olympic and were looking to turn things around. Manly could have had a penalty in the third minute, but their claims were promptly waved away. It was Apia's turn in the seventh minute after Jin Sung Lee went down, but the referee waved play on. After a quiet first half, the second sprung to life straight away, with Nikola Tineski going close in the 47th minute. 60 seconds later and the game had its opening goal, after Matsim tapped in a Scott Bowderson cross to give Manly a 1-0 lead. It got worse for Apia two minutes after going behind, when Mark Burns saw red for this challenge. Manly nearly sealed the points when Colin Eilish shot wide in the 73rd minute. And they were made to pay for their missed opportunities in stoppage time, and Nikola Tineski scored a heart-stopping equaliser, scoring a fantastic goal to break Manly hearts. Time now for our match of the round between Sydney Olympic and the Rockdale City Suns. Sydney Olympic were on fire last round with a 4-1 win over Manly and the Rockdale City Suns are showing good form with Branko Kalina's men starting to fire. Can Sydney Olympic keep pace with the top four or will Rockdale spring a surprise? So it'll be Macri's with the free kick. Sends it to the penalty spot. Again with the miss kick, Barchena forced to save. Turned over from Olympic, here's Kola. He finds Gann in the centre of the park. He's got some room. Here is Urasevsky. Oh, sends it clear. Here's a good chance to Perry. Oh, puts it wide. Couldn't quite hit the target. Studman's at the near post. Oh, it's off the crossbar. Still alive. Whips back in and Bacena makes the save. Markovic. Finds Williams. He does well to hold it up. Now he finds Markovic. He whips it in. Oh, it's bobbing around. Here's a chance for Barkas here, and he just falls off balance at the worst possible time. Trying to spark something. And all they've dealt too long in their own half. Here's Urasevsky. He's got some space. Perry's there with him. Urasevsky will go alone, just deflected. And Henderson makes the save. Here's Awa. Again, nice little dink. Here's Urasevsky. What a danger he's been. Out for a corner. Whipped in. Here's Kawamura! 1-0 Rockdale! Well, the marking just simply has to be better. As we look at the in-goal replay, Kawamura just stole an inch. And that's all he needs. Got to be goal side in that instance. And Rockdale City Suns hit the front. So Olympic trying to get back into this. They send it long. Switch these things up. Here is Kingsley Williams. What can he do, Kingsley Williams? Dancers trying to get a shot away. Oh, does well, Kingsley Williams. Oh, that would have been some goal. So Olympic. So Olympic trying to get back in this game. Rockdale can move here. Cardoso's away. Can he put a finish on here? He can indeed. Two near to Rockdale. And Richard Cardoso continues his goal scoring form. On the stroke of half time, as we look at the in goal replay, Henderson will be disappointed with that. He probably should have done a little bit better. You don't give that man opportunities like that, he'll make you pay. 
Reptile now with possession. Here is Cardoso. Already got one tonight. Searching for another. He sends it in board. Here is Gann now. Board to Urusevski. Oh, Urusevski goes down. It's going to be a penalty. Well, it gets worse for Sydney Olympic. As we look at the replay, good ball from Gann. And Urusevski's feet were just too quick. He's Cardoso from the spot. 3-0. He doesn't miss from there. It's his second goal of the night. He just can't stop scoring. Richard Cardoso showed great poise. Sends Henderson the wrong way. Angel, he loses possession. Here is Oiger playing out from the back for Rockdale. That's a great ball. Finds Brendan Gann. Hasn't he been influential tonight? Wouldn't he love a goal to cap it off? It's still here for Rockdale though. Here is Kawamura. Looking to find an opening. He lays it off to Gollins. Thorns does well to get round his mount. Here's Kawamura. Still there, Cardoso. Henderson made the save but could only find the feet of Richard Cardoso. As we look at the replay, Henderson makes a point blank save but it falls to the feet of Cardoso. He taps it in. He's got a hat trick. And what about this? Rockdale City Suns 4, Sydney Olympic nil. I just think we didn't turn up tonight. We didn't play to our normal game plan and credit to Rockdale, they've got a really good team and I think they'll be one of the dark horses this year, they've got a lot of depth and um, yeah, just our boys didn't turn up, it was an off night so it was really disappointing, especially at home but that's football, the beauty of it, we'll play Bonnie Rig next week so we can make this all go away with a win next week. Uh, difficult night for you as well, you had a, a bit of a neck injury, I believe uh, Studman as well, carried a yeah. Uh, Brett and I were struggling going into the match. We didn't train all week, but I'm not going to sit here and use that as an excuse. As soon as you put your hand up to play on the field, you've got to take full responsibility. My, myself, I was terrible tonight and so the rest of the other 10 players out there. So, like I said, credit to Rockdale again. They they um, thoroughly deserved the win tonight. We didn't start too well with uh, our preparation for the week, having a few players not train all week. Hendo having some issues at home and uh, with his wife and Phil and Studman as you could see they didn't train all week. It's been a tough week preparing with, with three or four other boys sick but in saying that Rockdale were, were fantastic today. They were, they were the best team so far that we've faced. They broke well out of, out of defence into attack. Their transition was great. Uh, full credit to them, they were the better team on the day by far. But no answer to that, they were just too good. How disappointing, I guess, after the, the great showing last week with Manly United to uh, sort of back that up uh, again at home and yeah. lose, uh, all three points. These things happen, you know. You, the week before, the Studman and, and Phil, they were great. And coming out here, not having trained all week, you know, maybe, maybe we should have made our changes and, and given them a rest. But you know, it's a different proposition, Manly to Rockdale. They're a great side, so you know, they're going to be in the mix. Yeah, well, look, I think that we could have scored more than four today. Um, we were, we had more chances, definitely. For the first half, we had plenty more chances. So, but we're still happy with a four-nil win, of course. Like us again, players like Richard Cardozo are always can score. Sayo up front, the young Alex, you know, all those players can score. Um, yeah, the following is it was pretty hard. Um, our strikers were getting four or five goals a game, and obviously Richie's beyond that by now. So. I think he'll score plenty more goals and um, any striker or any team that has a striker or players that can score more than 10-15 goals a year, they will play finals football definitely. Thank you, yeah it was good to get the win especially, um, you know 4 nil is just the bonus and the 3 goals is the cherry on top I guess but I think it's it's been a long time coming, you know we've put at least 5-6 games in a row together where we've dominated matches and you know it's been a bit patchy and, and we've just scraped through with a win or a draw and it's it's good to finally you know put someone to the sword, you know. I've, I've, Genuinely feel bad that it's against some of my mates, but you know, what can you do? Looking at the results now for round eight, and there were several shocks throughout the round. Starting at Belmore Sports Ground, when the Rockdale City Suns put four goals past Sydney Olympic, again proving that fortunes change week to week in this competition. Sydney Olympic defeated Manly four goals to one the week prior, and now they've conceded four goals themselves, with the Rockdale City Suns showing some tremendous form. But perhaps the biggest shock of the round was Blacktown City FC's 3-1 win over Sydney United 58. It's Mark Rudin's man's first loss for the year and ensures that Bonnie Rig extend their lead at the top of the table. The Blacktown Spartans continued their tremendous form and a club record three straight wins with a 4-0 win over the Central Coast Mariners Academy. 
Looking at the table, and it's a very similar story at the top. The Bonnerig White Eagles, the only team to remain undefeated. They are on 20 points, three clear of the new second spot, the Sutherland Sharks, who are on 17. The Blacktown Spartans have rocketed up to sixth place. It's a familiar story down the bottom, just as it is at the top. And the Central Coast Mariners Academy yet to get their first win. We're looking at the fixtures for round nine. Blacktown City FC host Marconi at Lily Home Stadium. The Blacktown Spartans look to make it four wins in a row when they travel to take on the Sutherland Sharks at Seymour Shore. Two of the standout teams come together Sunday afternoon with Bonnie Rig White Eagles taking on Sydney United 58 at the Bonnie Rig Sports Centre. Arpia Leichhardt take on the Rockdale City Suns at Lambert Park and Sydney Olympic take on the South Coast Wolves at Belmore Sports Ground. Well that's all we have time for this week. Make sure you tune in next time for our match of the round between the Bonnerig White Eagles and Sydney United 58. Football New South Wales would like to thank its sponsors IGA, Subway, Coca-Cola, Elastoplast, Foxtel, Hummel and Nike, the official ball sponsor of the IGA New South Wales National Premier League's Men's One.